Hi everybody, this week we're gonna take a look at a ZX Spectrum game, just because I feel like it. And the game in question is Tapper, published by US Gold in 1985. And I remember buying this game at a really cheap price at a sale back at the at the end of my Spectrum days really. I think I even had gotten my SD at that point, but it was just so cheap that I just, you know, had to have it. <laughs> and I do remember enjoying it, it was fun and I played it a fair bit. Not entirely sure how far I got in it, but probably not too far as usual. <laughs> And this game is based on the arcade game with the same name, developed by Marvin Glass and Associates and published by Bally Midway in the US in 1983 and published by Sega in Japan. And this game was actually sponsored by Budweiser in the US and Suntory in Japan. It's basically a game where you play a bartender that need to serve patrons lots and lots of beer until they get completely drunk and throw up all over the place. Thankfully we don't get to see that. And on the arcade machine you actually had Budweiser beer tap handle, so that's pretty cool. And I think they released a more kid-friendly game in 84 called Root Beer Tapper, which is basically the same game, but instead of tapping beer, you tap Root Beer, which is of course not as much fun. <laughs> So this might actually be one of the first games that had sponsorship or in-game product placement. And I think the game was quite successful worldwide when it was introduced back in 83, 84. And personally, I've never played it or seen it back in the day. And before we carry on, I would just like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and also encourage you other people to maybe support me on Patreon if you like my videos. That would allow me to make more of them and as little as a dollar a month would be much appreciated. So please consider that and check the link in the description. So here we've got a pretty nice uh, title screen or, or loading screen rather by David Thorpe. He uh, did a lot of really nice looking title screens, even with the limited color palette and the limited color resolution of the spec we managed to pull off some really nice looking loading screens and maybe this one isn't my favorite but it's a uh, really rather nice so here we are at the uh, menu screen and whenever i saw this menu screen i would get a little bit concerned because i think uh, the programmer who that always used this was called david anderson i think he made quite a few games for you as gold and I remember I bought Saxon, the arcade conversion for the Spectrum, and I was deeply disappointed. And he handled that. And of course, the same kind of menu was used in, in Saxon as well. So whenever I saw this menu, I, I knew that, oh, oh, it's David Anderson. But to be fair, Saxon wasn't exactly an easy game to convert to the Spectrum. Spectrum couldn't really handle scrolling particularly well, especially not diagonal scrolling as in Saxon so I'm not sure you could have done a much better version but but yeah but David Anderson didn't just make bad games he made also this game of course and Dam Busters and a couple of other good ones I think and a couple of other ones that were pants but but yeah every time I saw it I would be saw this menu I would be a little bit concerned <laughs> but let's just uh, alter the skill level let's do fair just because I feel brave today. And let's just do the joystick thing here. Alter controls, press J, sign on. All right then, this was always a thing with this uh, with this code. I always had this, you could sign on your name. So here we are. We're gonna ser serve some beer to our patrons, the local drunks. And uh, the graphics for its time, I suppose, were quite nice. Although I think the patrons look horribly deformed at times. <laughs> but yeah, it moves along pretty swiftly. Not bad. So you basically need to serve these drunks as much beer as they can possibly stuff their face with without breaking any glasses, which is... We can go up and grab these glasses. We need to pick them up before they break. So let's just try and do that. Oh. This is me being a bit silly. I need to pick up the pace. But this because this game does pick up the pace really quickly. What the hell? Did, oh, I think I served one beer too many. If, if you do that, if you, you know, throw a beer or slide a beer that has no patron, it will break when it reaches the end of the screen to the left there and you will basically uh, lose a life. And that's not good, I think I've got two lives. So we need to pay attention on how many patrons we have. 
And sometimes they stack up on top of each other, which is um, kind of alarming. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're doing, but sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see what is going on. But we can run out here and grab the glasses as they come back. And there's also, uh, I think, what do you call it? Tip that you can collect. And also a very specific power-up that I hope we can get. Uh, that is kind of interesting. I'll show you. Grab. No, hang on. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh shit! Oh my god, this joystick. Uh, yeah, that was... <laughs> Let's see if we can get this done in a slightly more professional manner. Need to pick up the pace a bit here. But yeah, this is so, so simple. So simple and so much fun, really. Oh, come on. Why am I... Oh, I keep hitting diagonals. Come on! <laughs> oh, God, this is horrific. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get a different joystick. I think this one needs a little bit of love because I keep getting hitting diagonals here. So hang on, guys. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, this is this feels lots lots and lots better. I was using the uh, the Wyco stick I got, and it's kind of hard hitting that the, the uh, oh shit the ups and downs without hitting diagonals, and then I just keep flying all over the place. So yeah, this feels much better, but I still fail there for whatever reason. I think I served one beer too many, if that is indeed possible. As you can see, the the patrons do stack up. Bizarrely enough, and sometimes they just stop. I'm not sure what they're doing over there. Oh, they were drinking. Yeah, yeah, the graphics are a little bit unclear. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's um, slightly bizarre how they look. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, get your beers and go away. Why are you looking all weird and wonky? Oh, that was tight. Yeah, why are you so upset? Just get your beers. What? Did I, did I serve one too many again? Oh man, I'm just an awful bartender. I bet that goes straight out of my salary. All the broken glass. But yeah, as I was saying before, I think, before I screwed up, it's very simple and also very fun. It's just something very pleasing about this game type or this game. What? I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Is it? It looks like there's two patrons standing on top of each other, but maybe it's just one because I'm pretty sure I didn't serve one beer too many there. Okay, let's try it again. Get your beer here. Well, technically, I think it's more like soda. I don't think it's beer in the home conversion. I think this one might even be sponsored by Pepsi. If we can get that far, there's, there's a Pepsi logo in here somewhere. <laughs> so more in-game uh, advertising, really. Oh, yeah, I think I know what happens when I screw up. I, I think it's when they drink. The graphics look so... Garble. Yeah, yeah, they drink. All right, I get confused. I thought there was two on top of it. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you see the problem there? That guy is actually drinking instead of actually being uh, or having <clears throat> some sort of fun with another patron. Yeah, uh, that's kind of the problem. Yeah, the Spectrum graphics are a little bit... <laughs> what the hell is going on there? Are you having a, a gang, gang beer? Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's quickly serve some more beers to these desperate individuals here. Uh, and you can actually go from the bottom of the screen to the top. And damn, this is up oh, very, very uh, hectic. I can't even speak here because damn, there's so much going on here. <laughs> what the? Why are you doing that? I haven't done you anything. I made, did I, I failed to serve a beer, I think. Yes, I did. This game picks up difficulty pretty quickly. It feels like this is almost, you know, harder than the arcade game. It feels faster, I would say, than the arcade game in some weird fashion. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Now get out and don't come back. Now oh, we have the mini game where we have to find the um, the specific glass or can of beer and you see, as you can see it's Pepsi yes this is soft drinks all the way yeah no beer here uh, okay I 
Well, yeah, I kind of missed what I was supposed to do that. This is kind of unclear on the Spectrum version. It was much clearer <laughs> on the uh, on the uh, arcade version. But yeah, one of these beer cans or whatever the heck it is contains something that was hidden by the other dude. Let's just pick this one. Yeah, I duffed it. Yep, I got covered in... I almost got it right. Yes, another level, oh joy. And this looks even more cramped. Oh man, I'm not sure what's going on. The graphics are really garbled, but I mean, they do look perfectly fine and pretty nice for its for their time, I suppose. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, this gets so hard, so damn quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Game over? Are you kidding? Let's just try this again and I'm just gonna uh, cut to when I reach level 2. So you don't have to suffer through level 1 again, like I have to. The music in the game is slowly destroying my mind here. <laughs> Sadly I can't turn it off. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. In the arcade game that guy hides something. I can't see him hiding anything. Am I just missing something? Or is this just completely random? I think I'm missing something. Oh, I got it right. Well, that's nice. Well done. Thanks. I get points. Oh, joy. Let's see if we can actually get each line done just right. So we don't get a complete mess going on here. Uh, the graphics are so garbled at times. Let's go grab that. Let's go grab these. Before something goes horrifically wrong. Didn't I serve you one? Maybe I didn't. Oh, balls! And I got a power-up there. You can see those kind of balls. Uh, kind of in the middle. I was going to try and collect that, but that didn't happen, of course. Hopefully I can get them again, because something interesting happens when you do that. I'm not entirely sure what happens on this particular level, but hopefully we might find out if I don't screw up too badly. Oh, and of course, could you please grab these? Oh man! Oh god, yeah, that was it. <laughs> it's not easy, but it's hard. Oh, did I just serve one too many? I think I did. Oh, balls! And game over. Of course, let's try this again because I'm not giving up, damn it! Oh, we get the power up, let's go grab it because something interesting happens! Yes, we got some sexy entertainment and the uh, the patrons gets all excited <laughs> and starts watching the naked legs instead, which is uh, great for me because then I get a break and I can get drunk myself. Again, of course, this is soft drinks, so no alcohol involved, of course. Absolutely not. Yes, thank you. Oh, they, this, this person just won't give up. Have more beers then. I mean, Pepsi. Seems to pay off to be rather quick about these matters here. Let's see if we can go grab that and just serve something for this guy first. Uh, I want I want this. Please, please, please. I want to grab that thing. I want to know what it is. Oh, yeah, we get some, uh, what do you call it, cheerleaders instead. Oh, no, I got so excited seeing all that nude flesh that I kind of broke another glass. Well, that's sad. Well, kids, don't try this at home because it's it's tough oh yeah the the, the uh, patrons are piling up literally i must say in a very alarming fashion here yeah, this is going slightly better i think but yeah this is a solid conversion i got to admit it's really what oh is it another one of those Bastards that just stand there drinking and look looking like a pixelated mess. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I did the same thing again. Oh god, we got a flickering one, I think. Oh god, that's I'm not sure what's going on there yet. Yeah, yeah, two of them on top of each other again, doing unspeakable things to each other. Oh yeah, the graphics are a little bit of a problem here. I mean look at it, it's still flickering about here. <laughs> Sometimes the levels just won't stop. I'm not entirely sure how the game decides when a particular level is over. Presumably when there's more, no, no more people to uh, serve. But it seems to be slightly random if there's more people coming. Oh no! I... Mm. 
poo. Yeah, this is still fun, but man, it's hard. And I'm pretty crap at it as well. Which is, of course, no surprise. Get away from me, horrible man. Damn, would you guys just please, just go away and leave me alone. This is deeply alarming. Oh, come on, we can do it, we can do it. Oh man, yeah, they get very upset when they don't get their beverages, that, right? Yeah. I'm finding it quite hard to get past level 3, but I haven't quite given up just yet. And just look at that, I've, I'm at the top of the high score table, the Hall of Fame! That's got to mean something, right? Well, it means that the game doesn't save the high score, that's for sure. <laughs> it's so hard to see what's going on sometimes with these horrifically pixelated customers. I'm gonna go grab the- oh, there's another pile of pixels here. No, 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 please, 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 please. Have a beer, have a beer, have a beer. Enjoy. Oh, man. Oh, man, I just completely missed again. Yeah, there definitely seems to be some sort of random chance uh, involved on how long it takes to finish a level. I mean, the faster you serve, the faster it will be over, but sometimes they just kind of still keep coming. I, I don't know exactly how that works. I think I just figured this one out. I need to pick a can that's not been shaken about, and I kind of thought he hid something in the arcade version, but I think I'm misremembering that. So, yeah, I, this is uh, me being stupid, of course, but of course I couldn't quite keep track of all these. I'm just going to pick one randomly and get covered in beer. Sorry, Pepsi. I keep screwing that up. Freudian slips and all that. Oh yes, the, the, the music is still slowly murdering my mind. Oh, did I just screw up? No, I didn't. That's good. Have some more Pepsi, you awfully pixelated horrific people. Okay, that's good. Maybe, just maybe I can get a glimpse of level 3. That would be absolutely incredible. Oh, I mean, look at the mess. I can't see what's going on over there. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a little bit tricky for a number of reasons. Damn people, you are getting so excited about my, my Pepsi here. Please. Oh, damn, this is so hard. No great surprise there. But at the same time, this is just a lot of fun. I could probably do this all day. I don't think I, I will, but uh, I might be able to just get completely stuck in this game. Again, what the hell? I mean... <laughs> I think I've had enough for today. Uh, really fun game, and yeah, I can see why I liked it back in the day. I kind of still think it's fun. Uh, the arcade game is a little bit more refined, of course, a little bit easier to see what's going on. I think I could get further there than I can in the Spectrum version, but yeah, still a really nice conversion. So let's have a pick, quick peek at a couple of reviews for the game from back in the day. Sinclair User gave it a Sinclair User Classic, and they gave it 5 stars out of 5, and they write, the action is extremely well paced against the demand of the game. It's fast, but not fast enough to be impossible. Highly complex arcade adventures are all the rage at present, and it's good to see such a fine, unpretentious classic arcade game released. If your brain has been completely drained by the mysteries of Shadowfire or Gyron of late, take a trip to the Soda Fountain. It's a refreshing experience. All three of the Your Spectrum reviewers gave it a hit rating and they write, Tap is a simple little game, but things can get quite hectic and it's extremely addictive. The accompanying graphics and sound are pretty good, but if the dancing girl graphics are meant to attract customers, someone better think again. And of course Crash gave it a crash smash and they write, Tapas graphics are not instantly appealing, but as you play on, you realize that there is more going on than you first suppose. Loads of amusing little details which all add to the general sense of fun. I found Tapper to be hugely playable and the game has just the right mix of ingredients, pace and skills needed to make it highly addictive. No, it's not a complex thinking game, it's just fun to play and well worth having. 
So pretty much everyone loved the game back in the day, including myself. And uh, yeah, it's kind of still fun to play today, I have to say. I could have probably kept playing for a bit, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and finish the video now. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this quick peek at Tapper on the ZX Spectrum. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers.